ISIS is now claiming responsibility for that deadly twin blast in Iran that happened on Wednesday. The explosions were at a memorial for Iranian military commander Qasem Soleimani, who was killed at least 84 people and injured 284 others in those blasts. You can see the pictures there uh, from Wednesday. That is from one of the Iranian uh, news agencies. It is the deadliest attack in Iran since the 1979 revolution. All right, let's get right to seeing an international diplomatic editor, Nick Robertson, who's watching this. ISIS has claimed responsibility, which is something that we discussed as a possibility on air yesterday, just after the blast happened, Nick. Explain the dynamics here. Why ISIS would want to target uh, Iran? They would want to target Iran because they consider it a sheer theocracy and they consider them, as they describe them, polyatheists. And in their language today, in their press release claiming responsibility for the attack, they say they killed 300 polyatheists. Shias, because ISIS is a predominantly Sunni organization and they are in their own minds at war with the Shias and none more so than Iran and none more so than Qasem Soleimani because he was a leader uh, in Iran that cracked down not only on Western interests, he was the sort of the international operations arm of the IRGC, the head of the Quds Force, but he also led the charge against ISIS as well. And that's why they would want to target him. Now, having said that, um, are they offering evidence in their claim so far that would support their case? I have to say from what we've seen so far, there is not concrete evidence. There is even some discrepancies in what they describe. The number of dead, for example, is actually 84, according to the Iranians, not 300, as ISIS says, but ISIS often overstates. ISIS also said that uh, the attack was carried out by two suicide bombers. Well, the information we have from the Iranian authorities yesterday is that at least one of those bombs was in a suitcase and was remotely detonated. Uh, the Iranians also blamed uh, Israel, the president of Iran today, saying that Israel was responsible and, and would pay a price for this. So there are still some parts of this that don't add up. But what does add up very clearly, um, the signature of the attack yesterday was not at all the signature of an Israeli precision strike against command figures. It was much more the signature of an ISIS attack um, slashing out and hitting out at innocent civilians and bystanders which is what seems to have happened uh, at the Soleimani morning uh, yesterday. Yeah, I, can I, I just am curious why ISIS is jumping into the fray now, whether they're responsible or not. They are claiming responsibility, even with the details being off of what they're saying. Why would they jump into this now, knowing uh, that there is already the potential of a regional war? Is it to try to blow that up, or are they just trying to get attention uh, from the world that they are still around? This was a, would have been a target of interest and a target potentially of opportunity where there would have been a large gathering and also where they knew their enemies in the Iranian leadership might be looking in the other direction and might be looking for Mossad operatives rather than looking for ISIS operatives. So they may have seen that as, as an opening of opportunity. You know, and I think when we look at the threshold of the level of attacks that have been hit Iranian interest. The Hamas leader under, killed under the noses of Hezbollah, a senior Iranian commander killed in Damascus in, in what appears to have been, although Israel has said not one of their airstrikes, uh, and then the killing today of a senior Iranian commander claimed by a uh, senior Iranian-backed Iraqi militia commander by the United States in, in Iraq. Uh, these all uh, fall below the threshold, if you will, for an escalation from Iran. Uh, that This attack by ISIS may have just been trying to jump on and destabilize the situation further.